This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Okay, well, at last we've come to the uh, final lecture on advanced variances. We've done um, planning an operation on mixing yield, and those two are terribly important. They keep being asked, not in the same exam, but over and over again. Uh, we did sales mix variance, which has been asked, but certainly less common. Did advanced idle time, which I said in the last lecture is, to be honest, very, very unlikely, but it wasn't wasting time because the first bit of the example was at variances and could be asked anywhere. The last one <clears throat> is activity-based costing variances. Now, this sounds as though it's going to be very challenging. In fact, uh, to the level it's asked in the or was asked in the exam, uh, it isn't at all. It was only been asked once, uh, and it was exactly the same level as in my example six, which I'm about to go through. And in example six, have a quick look with me. Actually, no, before we look at example six, I actually wondered whether to bother lecturing this because I honestly think the reason the examiner did put it in once, as I say, quite a long time ago, I really think it was to check that you really understood what variances were, what we were doing, as opposed to just learning rules. Um, because if you understand why we do what we do, everything we've done previously, then you don't really need extra rules for example six. It's actually very, very easy. And it may take you a few minutes you know, to decide what's going on, but once you do, it's, it's the normal situation. There's nothing really strange at all. Anyway, now we will look at the question. Um, the following information is available for a period. Uh, the production, 48,000 in the budget, uh, 50,400 actual. And the cost we're given is the overhead cost of dispatching. Now, if you remember in activity based costing, which was what? I think it was the very first chapter. <coughs> in activity based costing, uh, we take each type of overhead, dispatching, materials, handling, and so on. And instead of charging it per hour, or per kilo or something, we decide what causes the overhead. In the case of dispatching, it's dispatches. And so we work on a cost per dispatch instead of a cost per kilo or a cost per hour. And, and so let me write straight down the standard cost per dispatch Well, I ignore actual for the moment, but on the budget figures, uh, we thought the total was 120,000. We thought there'd be 2,000 dispatches. And so what does it come to? $60 per dispatch. Now, there's only one overhead there. In, in real life, obviously, what we're going to do here, we'd be doing for each type of overhead. In the exam, when it was asked, there was only the one. But, I mean, so what, you can do it twice if, if there were two. But, so instead of standard cost per hour, standard cost per kilo, the normal ones, here is standard cost per dispatch. Anyway, we've got the budget there. Uh, we told what actually happens. Actual production, 50,400. There were actually 2,200 dispatches. I'm not surprised there are more because there are more uh, units. And we told what the total overhead cost is. And so let's look at variances. And first of all, let's look at the total variance. And when we've got the total, then we'll analyse it. And so what's the total variance? We'll do it in exactly the normal way. We'll take the actual total cost. Which is 126,720. And we'll compare it with the standard cost 
for the actual number of uh, I pardon, the standard cost for the actual production. So what's the standard cost for our actual production? You get the same thing in more than one way, to be perfectly honest. But the actual production was 50,400 units. Uh, the standard cost per unit, well, dispatching was 120,000 in total for 48,000 units. And so how much would you expect to have spent for our level of production? 54, uh, well, the standard cost per unit, 120,000 divided by 48,000, so it comes to $2.50 a unit, times 50,400 units is 126,000. And therefore, the total variance is 720 adverse. We've spent more than we would have expected. We want to analyse it. Why has that happened? Well, it could be that we're paying too much or too less for dispatch. It should be $60 per dispatch. Or, of course, it could be because we've had more or less dispatches than we should have done. So let's first of all look at the expenditure variance. And for the expenditure variance, we're looking to see, did we pay the right price per dispatch? So we'll take the actual dispatches at actual cost. Uh, the actual um, dispatches, there were 2,200. Uh, but how much did it cost? The actual cost 126,720. How much should it have cost if we'd paid the right price per dispatch? So actual dispatches at standard cost. Well, again, there were 2,200 dispatches. And I worked out a few minutes ago, if it went according to plan, each dispatch will have cost $60. And so we would have expected to spend one hundred and thirty-two thousand, and therefore the variance is five to eighty uh, favourable. We spent less than we would have expected. The cost for dispatches obviously ended up at less than sixty, so we've saved five to eighty. All right, so that's one uh, reason for our total variance. Uh, the other reason, of course, is we may have had too few or too many dispatches. We call that the efficiency variance. And to check whether we've had too few or too many dispatches, well, we'll compare the actual number of dispatches Uh, 2,200. This isn't dollars, remember. I'll cost it in a moment. This is the actual number of dispatches. Well, how many dispatches would we have expected for our actual level of production compared with the standard number of dispatches for the actual production? Well, we produced for, uh, what was it, 50,400 units. How many dispatches would you have expected? Well, in the budget, it was 2,000 for every 48,000. So surely, I'm not going to divide that, it was to a nice figure, uh, but it would have been, what, 
0.4166666 or something um, units per disp um, dispatches per unit. And so for 50,400 units, you'd have expected 2,100 dispatches. So although we expect, um, we expect more dispatches, here we have too many more, we had 100 more dispatches than we should have done. And how much is that costing us? Well, at standard cost per dispatch, we worked out earlier was 60. 100 extra dispatches is 6,000. We've had too many dispatches, it's over costing us, it fits out of us. And does it check? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 6,000 adverse, 5 to 80 favourable. The two together, the net figure here is going to be the difference of 720 adverse, which I think is what we got earlier. Yes, it is. It does check. We have analysed it. And so there we are. I mean, it's, it's just the same as labour, except it's per dispatch instead of per hour. Or it's the same as materials. All right, then it's expenditure and usage. But instead of uh, per kilo, it's per dispatch. So it's not really anything new. Uh, as I said before, if you understand uh, what's happening with variances, then there's not really much excuse uh, for not being able to cope with it. Anyway, at last, that's it for the variances. A little bit of reading you can do yourself at the end of um, the last page. Otherwise, as always, have a go at the, um, the online test. <coughs>